Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use the rotary encoder hmm, to well to manipulate the value inside our Arduino. Okay, so actually I have already connected this rotary encoder. Here is the rotary encoder. Yeah, I used this type of cable. Here the uh, ground is black, so I will plug in the black. button uh, the black line to ground and the white line which is connected here to plus I will connect to 5 volts yeah? and now we only have the others to connect uh, I will use the pins to this I will use to should be uh, encoder encoder pin A so this is the D clock is then three and I will also use the button which is the brown line. I'll connect this to four. Right. So now I have connected the encoder and I want that some value is changing when I turn it. When I turn it, yeah. Plus clockwise minus counterclockwise. This would be the goal. So let's also plug it to our computer. Huh? Bim, bidi, bim. Everything all right. So now let's switch the computer and start with the coding. Okay, so at the computer I will simply make a brand new sketch. Save this under a corresponding name. I will use what is the number 25 25 rotary encoder. Good name. So I will again start with defining the pins. Uh, define pin A. This was 2. 2. Uh, pin B was three and the button was four. All right, now let's come to the pin modes. Pin A is an input. There, pin A and pin B, input is enough. Yeah, we don't have to use input pull up or something like this. Where we have to use input pull up, uh, is at the button pin. All right. And I, of course, want to output also uh, the value I want to manipulate. So I will start the serial begin. Okay. Uh, I will print reading from encoder. Nice. Uh, this is what we do in the setup and in the loop yeah, we will have a static int yeah, and this is our value and the value shall be zero at the beginning. Okay. And now we are reading in pin A and pin B or let's read in pin A. Pin A equals digital read pin A. Good. Uh, uh, we have to distinguish. Yeah? Please remember, please remember this this picture here. If pin A is changing, all right. If pin A is changing, and B is a different value, then we are turning clockwise. We said. Uh, if pin A is changing and B has the same value, uh, 
then we're turning counterclockwise. This was the logic. So, I first has to distinguish if a new pin A was already received. So, I also have to use a static int. Old pin A. Alright. Or I will use... Ooh, uh, I will use it there. Uh, I will use a global variable. Old pin A. Uh, and in the end of the program, I will say old pin A equals pin A. Uh, so here I store it. And before, I ask if pin A is not like old pin A. Yeah. So here, inside this if, I only get in if pin A has been changed. Okay. Now, if how do I do this? I will use a bool. Turned clockwise. This shall be false. And I will use turned counterclockwise. This should also be false. And I will simply say turned clockwise is true yeah equals equals yeah? Uh, digital read and now I read in pin B Ooh, this was wrong pin B and this must not like be pin A okay so this is the boolean expression here I compare pin A, what I've read in with pin A, with what I just read in on pin B. Okay. Uh, so this, if this is not the same, then we turn clockwise. Yeah. And turn counterclockwise. There, those two needs to be equal. Uh, then this is turned counterclockwise. Hmm, this is already good. Already good. Yeah. Uh, there I have it. Now I can make if turned clockwise. Value plus plus. One more, okay, and I will make serial dot print turned clockwise, and now I will print line the value. Good, and now the same for counterclockwise. If counterclockwise, we will decrease the value, right turn counterclockwise and also the new value. So what I should have covered now is that I can turn left and right. Okay, so let's try to upload this. Yeah. Open the serial monitor. Uh -huh. <laughs> already something was happening. Yeah. So I will now try to move this clockwise. Oh. Turn to, ooh, there are some counterclockwise in between. Yeah, if I turn it slow, it seems to work. If I turn it faster, uh, it doesn't work. And now I turn it counterclockwise. Okay. Okay, in between there are some clockwises. But actually, if I really turn it fast, 
they are always some some wrong wrongs in between all right all righty does not look too bad i would say hmm? so you see we can do this huh? maybe we should also use the button pin and i will say simply uh, if and now we don't read digital read from button yeah? so if it's this is getting true if it's pressed right this this here yeah? important yeah? because we made input pull up yeah then we say uh, zero print reset and the value shall be the default value I simply select zero here uh, reset let's see if this is also working zero monitor turn it on so actually now I should be able to turn it clockwise, yeah, I should be able to turn it counterclockwise, yes, and I should be able to press the button and then I would reset, I have reset the value. So I can I can move it up and up and up and up and up. Yeah? Press the button, zero. Fast. Yeah? Maybe it would be nice that you can press the button and this will only only do it once. Yeah, so if you press the button, it will not always reset the value, but only the time you press the button. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you can even do it. Uh, eh, we will see. Because actually what I really don't like is that if I turn this here, that it's working good, but from time to time I have the wrong direction turn counterclockwise this is because of timing right so this is because of timing I do have uh, an issue here yeah, with the execution of my program it's a pretty long program it takes some time and here I read it once and maybe maybe it's just wrong you know I have everything is already over huh? so I'm not reading exactly at the point in time where A is changing but I'm reading it later and if I'm reading it later and just realizing it later then B is already have, has already also changed yeah? and I do not recognize that B has not been changed this is especially annoying if the program is getting longer or outputs like we've done here with the sprint, serial print. This takes simply time and this is, you know, <sighs> there must be something better. And there is something better. All right, there is something better. Uh, this something better is called an interrupt. Okay? What an interrupt is, we will hear in next video. Okay. And how we will use it, we will also hear. So, for this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.